Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Vigardi. Uh, thanks for joining us on this City of Melton um, webpage there. We want to bring a little bit of physical activity into your home, so every Wednesday at 9.30. Um, I'll jump online, we'll have these um, videos already loaded up for you there, and I'll jump online and answer any questions you may have, you may so want. Uh, to put some recommendations in there for some future ones, so I'll take all that in there and uh, help everyone out with their exercises during that period of time, so don't hesitate to fire off some questions. Um, again, my name is Adrian Rigani. You'll probably see us sort of adding a couple of different links in the comments down the below there. Um, really, the whole goal of this is just get involved with it. We'll go through a little bit of warming up. We'll go through the bulk of our session, a bit of a cool down. I do talk a fair bit, so at any stage there, don't, don't be afraid to press the mute button. I'm okay with that. I won't know about it. Don't tell me. Everything's fine. The key for us really is that we're getting out there and doing some physical activity. Uh, definitely easy to sit back and not do too much, but um, yeah, we want to promote some good health in all this. All right, let's get into it. So first thing we tend to do in these classes is a nice little warm-up. I'll try to set myself in the middle here. So what we like to do is just get our legs, have them fire up a little bit there. So getting these legs moving side to side. A um, big part about this is just trying to open up our hip. Now for so many people here, they may have met me before in different classes that we run with the City of Melbourne, from chair exercise class to social support classes to men's sheds. Um, for so many people, this may be the first time being introduced to it there. So cross one leg over, let's get into a bit of a glute stretch. You get over the top, big stretch into it there. This is just a nice little simple warm up we can have a bit of a play around with. You guys are uh, dancing in my garage at the moment there. We always try to set up some nice plans for a bit of ambiance. Bit of fun here. Offices to the left there. Uh, try to make sure I switch on at least a couple of lights so you guys can see it's there. But at the moment, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a gloomy day. Hopefully it gets a little bit better and we can all get out and about there and have a bit of a walk around, obviously, keeping our distance away. Switch our legs, we've got two little puppies at home there, so they enjoy a bit of a walk around. It's just nice to get outside, right? Whenever you get the chance to, if you feel comfortable with it, I think it's good. All right, let's give this glute a really good stretch. You just notice I'm just moving just a little bit onto it there. Today's session's only going to really need a chair. We're not going to have to go too crazy with different equipment. Um, I imagine some recommendations might be to do some training sessions with some different equipment. If I've got available here, I would love to take you all through it. Obviously, we want to try to make it accommodatable for everyone who's able to do it. And if they don't have anything at home, so still be able to do some training at home. So all you just want to do is just move around a little bit, just different parts again to my glute. Good, and next I'm going to stand up doing a quad stretch. So use a good chair, pop your chair off the side, pull back the leg. So you want to bring your knees in nice and close, squeeze your bum. Pull up on your leg, give it a really good quad stretch so you feel a bit of tension through the top part of your fellow. Definitely hold on to the chair if you want to work with a bit of stability. Sure enough, if you want to work with a bit of ankle, knee, hip stability, you don't have to hold on to anything there. Just the key is pulling up on your legs. Give that a really good stretch. Good. Let's switch over. Work the other side. Switch your chair around, turn around. Either one, whatever really works for you. And everyone will probably be in different places when they're doing this, whether they're in front of their computer. Uh, for me, I just set up my tripod and my phone there. So, um, yeah, just wherever wherever you are, just make sure you've got a little bit of room. Today's session is just going to involve a chair. You're just going to need a few in a chair. Look, some nice, comfortable shoes, comfortable clothes, and a drink bottle is always handy close by. Mine is just off to the left there, so I'm going to grab that in one second. So I always find a bit of water is always good to have before and after. Excellent. And next one's going to be an action stretch. I'll be back. Good to have my trusted drink bottle. I'm just going to pop that to the side there. Good, so my hamstring stretch, if I'm just going to show you face, I'm going to bring my left leg up, just let it sit on the chair, pointing my toe forward, hands on top of the shirt, I'm just going to lean myself over a little bit there, and really notice a bit of a pull through the back of my thigh there. I can just wiggle my hips around to find different spots. Good, you may notice it's a bit tough to have your legs straight, so you might have your legs slightly bent. Just bring yourself over, you're going to feel a nice little pull behind the back part of our legs. Good, switch it over to the side, so I'm just going to show you something different. Good, I'm going to now put my right leg up on top of the chair, slowly straighten that leg and just fall over the top. Again, feel it through the back part of my thigh there. Good, to give that a little bit of stretch and again, if you feel comfortable, you can wiggle your hips around. You're just going to fill in some slightly different spots. And uh, always a nice going there. Yeah, excellent. Good to give it a stretch. Lovely, so next one we're going to do a stretch. I want you to put your legs around your back there, lean yourself forward. Give those calves a really good stretch out there. I'm just going to move myself quickly one forward so you can see. My heel is firmly planted on the floor, so this is my right heel that I'm stretching. So that is this one here that I'm just moving here. Heel firmly planted, and all I do is lean myself forward. And I feel quite a nice little stretch through the belly part of my, my calf here. So just this big part of my calf. Love it. Switch over legs. Hopefully everyone's having a nice day today. Haven't actually looked what the forecast of weather is. It's Monday. Uh, what are we, Monday the 20th? 
Mm, 19th, I think it is actually. So yeah, whatever a Wednesday will be like. Hopefully it's a nice morning. Good, giving it a nice little stretch. Lovely tabletop, so next one. Straighten up the legs, sit myself over the top there. The goal here in this one is to create some stretching from my calf, my hands to my bum and my lower back. So just find it a comfortable point. My suggestion is to breathe. Breathe out. Just find it a nice comfortable spot here. You can also wiggle your hips around side to side, just a nice and stretch everything out. Good to get moving, especially we're all probably finding we're sitting a little bit more than usual. So it's nice just to get a little bit of mobility, loosen up to relax. Two, one, excellent. Good, so that's a really nice, very, very simple warm up that we can go there. Just getting some blood flow to our lower limbs, loosening stuff up through our lower back area there. Of course, I'm going to rest that just a little bit more. You can pop your chair just a bit to the side, and I'd love to see you swivel through the lower part of your back and your thoracic or your torso area there. So just notice that I'm keeping my legs straight and I'm rotating the mid part of my body. Good, you pop your hands out the side. Please make sure there's nothing too close by that you can hit. I'm just getting a bit of a hit to the plate. I think that plate will be able to tolerate it. Yeah, it's a nice big one too. I actually don't quite know. It's some sort of palm, I guess. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> We've had it for a while there. A little bit of water, a bit of Bit of indoor sunshine, and she's happy. Two, one, good, rotate the shoulders around. Get some nice shoulder rotations. Good, just to get them all moving there. I quite like just closing my eyes, breathe in. <sighs> breathing out when I drop my shoulders, breathing in. And breathing out. <sighs> good, just to get that all rotated around there. Nice. Good, and then we'll just do some bed hugs there, so just open and closing there. Again, making sure you've got some room to be able to swing your arms around. Just loosen that up. I'll just drop myself down a little bit so you can see my head in this. Cool. Cool. Just open and close it there. Nice. Good. After this, we're going to have a quick little drink and then we'll get it into the main part of our session. So a nice little warm-up just to get everything moving. Again, we want to keep this to about 30 minutes. So at any stage, if I'm going a little bit fast, you're welcome to pause, stop. If you don't love the exercise or not feeling it, you can always move on to the next one. That is okay, but come join us every week as you get better and better. I reckon you'd be keen to do all 30 minutes of it. And we might even go a bit longer too, or based on everyone's um, suggestions. If you feel like you want a bit more, I'm happy to organise that for everyone. Cool. My suggestion, have some water, get yourself a drink, tea, coffee, whatever you want to, I prefer water personally when it comes to exercise. And then we'll get into it. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to start with some marches here. So nice and simple, just about driving the leg up nice and high. I'm trying to keep everything through the top half of my leg nice and relaxed, and just about elevating the knee up. Good, I can make it a little bit harder by leaning slightly forward. So this is me leaning back. I want to lean slightly forward and get some leg lift in there. So the top part of my thigh is having to work here. Good, if I rotate the chair to side, you continue on your movement. Notice that the heels are hitting the floor. I can make it a little bit different if I'm just allowing my toes only to hit the floor head. A little bit tougher on my calves. So now, heel slam. If you want to hit a little bit further, you definitely can go about doing that. The key is just making sure it's my flat, firm hit on the floor. Lovely. Let's move on to the next one. Good. So this next one, we're going to lean ourselves forward and we want to create some good running arms here. So again, I'll show it on the side. And this just helps for us all to get a bit of a gauge on this. For those who have joined us for so long in the sessions, may feel really familiar, may sort of see the movement front line and know exactly what to do. But for everyone who's new to this, I want you to feel just as comfortable as everyone else that we work with. Good, so keeping those arms going. Notice when I'm working to the side. Notice that is what I'm doing. It's all about that slight lean forward. Really get your heart rate up there. See if we can get another 10 seconds in here. For all those who are new to my class, you'll also know some very bad at keeping track of time. That's unfortunate, but at least I'm consistent. I'll always be the same at this. Five seconds. Four, we can always blame that my time doesn't work. Three, two, but probably more than I don't think about it. One, they come. And rest, nice, facing forward. Good, so we're gonna alternate calf raises. So what that means is push off one calf, then followed by the other one there. So you just alternate in between it there. So I'm going to show what it looks like laterally. Just notice that all I'm doing is push off my toes, my heel comes up, and you just see my knees bouncing up and down. So show it laterally again. Laterally just means to the side. That's what it's looking like. Beautiful. Nothing to it. Just getting the calf, the ankle, everything moving quite nicely. Cool. You could definitely try to keep, keep, keep that pace up. 
So I could hardly get that word out. You could definitely try to pick the pace up, which will make it a little bit harder. Two, one, excellent. Now let's bring those last two exercises together. Calf raise, arms. Oh, there's a bit of coordination involved with this. <laughs> you might feel a little bit silly as you do it, but guess what? Nobody can see you, and that is okay. As long as you're not as silly as I am and put this on the internet for everyone to watch there. It's okay. You go about it. You do your thing. Go and see if you can make that work a little quicker. Good. You keep going. Good. You should be keep going so I can have a bit of a relax. It doesn't matter about me. This is your training session. <laughs> I know. I'm a bit silly, but that's okay. Good. Keep those arms and legs going. Looking straight ahead. Four, three, gets the heart rate up a little bit. Two, one, whew, have a bit of a break there. That got a little tough. All right, good, so we're gonna work with some arms out to the side there. So head up nice and tall, chest up nice and tall. Good, and we're just gonna bring your arms out, bring them down by the side. Good, notice that I'm coming just above parallel, so parallel would be here. Just come up a little bit higher, just forcing me to work some neck muscle groups as well as my shoulders and my trap muscle groups there. So different ones that are up part of the body. Good, the faster I go, the harder I can make this exercise. Good. Now let's see if I can take flight. <sighs> Breathe through the exercise. Don't be afraid. Oxygen is your friend, I promise you. Three, two, one. And I'm just gonna show up Larry. You keep going, you're doing great. Even though I can't see you, I know you're doing great. Awesome. All right. Notice I take my time getting into the next exercise, right? And here we go, that's what it looks like later on. Good, you're still going, doing awesome. Five, four, three, what comes next? Two, yeah, two, two, two. one, all right, good stuff, facing on. Good, so we're gonna have to make this a little bit harder, we're gonna work that legs a little bit more by doing a chair squat, so notice, I squeeze my bum and thrust my hip forward there. So hopefully we're putting up some A4 sheets of some gentle exercise that people can do with a photo and some dot points. Squats is on one of those ones there. So if you feel like you've had a bit of a play around, you're going to feel a bit more comfortable and confident doing this one. So, squeeze bum, stand up nice and tall. Just like when we get bottom off our chair, we stand up. What we're looking for is a little bit of power and thrust through your pelvis. So it's using your bum to really create that strong push forward. With your hands, you can pop by your side. Some people like bring them up in front, some people love them in the air. Whatever works for you, what it cares is that you get a good thrust through your pelvis, right? So if up in the air is what's making you feel more comfortable, then you go for it. Big squares of glute. Good, you keep going. It is quite warm here, I am going to get changed. I try not to strip too much on camera, as you imagine. Not good, the wife doesn't like me stripping, it's fair. I don't blame them. <laughs> All right, chest up tall. Lean myself forward, squeeze my bum. That's what we're looking for. Good. So again, if you feel comfortable, hands out the front or above your head, whatever works for you. Key to big squeeze of wood. Good. Two, notice when my bum sitting on the chair. One to go. Excellent, I'm not, and this is really important, I'm not leaning back in the back of the chair to pull myself upright. I'm trying to use the strength of my glute to create that big thrust, that's really important. Love it, this is a great one. Have yourself a quick drink. Notice those squats are a little bit harder than exercise. Like I said myself. Whew, good to catch a breath, all right. Oh, but I'd open it, I won't get no water. Okay, rest periods are short, <laughs> that's okay. Good, single leg leg extensions. So notice one leg stands out, the other one sits on the floor. Good, get some movement in here. So this is a little bit tougher, we're gonna pick up the pace just a little bit. Awesome. Three, two, before I rotate, you keep going, one. No time to rotate around. You keep going. Good, just extending those legs out. Good, I could make this a little bit harder by extending both legs. Ooh yeah. Makes it much harder. And as I've grabbed onto the chair, just gives me a bit of more stability. Doing it without grabbing on is fine. You'll notice it much harder in your abdominal muscle groups. You might feel like the whole top half of your body wants to drop forward. You try to keep everything up nice and straight to extend those legs out. Two. One more. 
Super, let's stand up nice and tall next to it. Yeah. Just the sugar on the side straight off the back up. And all we're going to do is get our heels to our bum. So we're looking straight ahead, heels towards our bum. Good, keep it those legs working. Good. You get to choose the pace. You want to make this harder, you go faster. Good, you want to make it easier, move it down a bit slower. You also don't have to lift your legs up as high. But if you feel comfortable and you want to get your heels to your bum, you go for it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. So you go for it. Give me 10 seconds. Nine. Eight, you could also do it. Seven, without holding on to anything, right? Just makes that a little bit harder. Six. Five. Keep going for me, team. Four. Like the old school Romans classes. Three. Why not? Eight. Two. One, as long as we're not all dressed in spandex with the headband on, right? And rest. Well, I'm wearing a fluoro top, so I'm halfway there. Oh, God. We're bringing back the old, uh, was it the 80s? 70s? Oh, jeez. Well, oh, I better not think about it. <laughs> Fitness has come a long way. Thank God for that. Fitness has come such a long way since those times. But they were fun times, I'm sure. Good. So our next one here, we want to do this march exercise. Now, the difference is, is I want you to see if you elevate your leg up as high as you can before you control it down. So we're not striking the floor, but simply get a really good high lift onto it. Really lift up nice and high. Control down, higher. Good, I'm gonna show the advanced version, which is generally the harder of the versions. So I'll generally start a little bit lighter, show how to make it harder and how to make it a bit easier. So you can say advanced, or a progression, or easier, and a regression. So just different ways you can about doing it. So, you wanna make this harder, I'm gonna show it laterally. Both legs at the same point, right? Simple. Look straight ahead, see if you lift both legs at the same time. Notice there's a bit of a rock into this, right? It is a little bit tougher, but nothing wrong. With chest up tall, really getting those legs all nice and high. Four, three, two, one more. Oh, we're doing so good. Let's set ourselves up nice and tall. All right, a little bit more. So, what I'm doing here? I want to drop my legs a little bit. So if this is standing straight, I want to drop my legs a little bit. That's the key. It's just a slight bend in my knees. So we call it soft knees or dropping legs. It's really good to know that. So from straight, soft knees, dropping legs. I want to lean slightly forward, just slightly, and I want to get strong straight arms. So I'm going to show you what this looks like laterally. Good. If you want to make it harder, see if you can go a little bit faster. Yes. I'm just chopping my tree behind here. There we go. Alright, you keep that. Keep going, keep going. Ooh, I think I might have a coffee actually. I love how I can walk away and you guys will still be going. I know you can hear me still. How am I? You still doing it? I'm watching you. Alright, so still straight legs, slight bend, bump back. We're still going, nice and strong. Whoop, can't move away from that tree. That poor tree's having a hard life. Lovely, so really get those arms swinging. Work to whatever you feel is comfortable. If something's giving you a bit of pain, then I suggest not doing that movement that's causing a bit of pain. If you feel a bit of heaviness in the muscle and it's feeling, as we refer to as fatigued, I'm okay with you working a little bit through that. But if you don't notice anything and you're doing the movement, sometimes you can do a little bit more. Depends on your mood. If you're feeling for it, you go for it, right? It's good to challenge ourselves. Lovely, and next one. Little steps, watch what I'm doing. Little steps, if you need to hold on to a chair, Go on to the chair, otherwise, little steps. Good, notice my hands, a little small, a little small. <sighs> Bring this out through it. Excellent, we wanna make this harder. We move quicker. Oh yeah. So I've always thought about this, if I just do this once or twice, and then I play it on loop, you wouldn't know, I'd just be gone. We do it for hours. So let's look straight ahead, see? You didn't know if that was on loop, right? Could have been. Yeah, now you're thinking about it. It's not. That involves too much energy. I'd rather just do the exercise. Give me 10 seconds. Nine. Face me. Eight. Go for it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, shake those legs out. Good to shake everything out. Yeah, do whatever feels. Make your own dance moves up, right? Just loosen everything up. <laughs> I, I like doing different, yeah, that's it. we can all be a little bit silly about it. Good to listen all. Whew. So our next one that we're gonna do, we wanna sit our bum back a little bit. So, this is straight, bend our legs, stick our bum back, 
From here, we're going to bring our hands out to the side. Clap. Hands out to the side. Clap. That's what we're doing. Now. Good. If you find that a little bit hard on your back muscle groups, you just sit yourself up a little bit taller. <laughs> but the key is we refer to it as a reverse fly. So pull it back. Clap. Good. So what should be seeing? Just clap. Clap it out. Good. You can also get a little creative. You can miss the clap. And you can get into that bear hug movement. Good, but the key is pulling your arms behind you. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to face you now. Keep it coming. 10 seconds. Good, enough room. Give yourself a hug. You definitely don't have to hit yourself like I am, but just got for punishment. That's all it is. Four seconds. Three, two, one more. Good, let's relax those shoulders. Get some good shoulder rotation. Just notice I'm standing up nice and comfortably moving my feet around. Ah, feels good. Three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna go some higher knees now. Just notice where I'm standing, getting my knees up. So I've just got my hands on my hips, notice that my thighs are trying to get parallel to that. So shot laterally, notice I'm just trying to come parallel to that. So one way you can do it, Get your hands up and just try to bring your knees towards your hands. Good. Good, easier version. Small, harder version. Just love to see it faster. We don't have to worry about lifting up high, but just go a little faster. You can also get a little creative and lean slightly forward, and you'll notice that's a lot tougher again. Good. Give me 20 seconds because we can. You can also be a bit silly and go around circles. Again, nobody's seeing you. Not unless you're me, you're silly enough to film yourself doing this. Then everyone's watching you, but whatever. We need to have some fun in this isolation. It's really hard for extroverts like myself. We're always talking to a camera. It's like, I just need to hug people, which is what I do. We'll get through it. <laughs> we'll get through it. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, let's bring that chair back. We are nearly done, team. And then we go through our cool down. Last one. Doing really good team. Okay, so we're gonna lean ourselves forward, hands out in front. Good, like we're grabbing something towards our feet and I want you to pull it back towards us. So for those in our chair exercise class, they'll remember this as the roller, and that effectively looks like you've got an oar, driving back, pull it to your chest, control forward. I'll show you what it looks like laterally, just so you get a visual of it there. The key is squeezing your bum, and that pulls you upright. You control how far you come forward, so if you only come forward a bit, that is A-OK. -okay. If you want to come forward a bit more, you go for it. It's all about your personal level, where you're feeling comfortable to want to exercise to. Go one more. Excellent, I'm going to rotate that back. Oh, no, you keep going, that was one more for me. It's really good to know. One more generally refers to me. <laughs> you're all working hard, that's for sure. Chest up tall, come forward. Pull back, yes. Control forward. Pull back, yes. Good, let's keep going for it. Give me five more rows. Four. Five, oh god, I went up, sorry about that. Four, that's better, that's better. Three. Two. One more. Yes, yeah. awesome stuff team. Grab yourself a drink, where you go through a cool down. That's real good stuff. Now, I hope you just haven't fast forwarded to this point. That's really important that you've actually done the exercise, yes. And don't be afraid to do this pro and car mention multiple times throughout the week, there, right? Like every Wednesday, we should upload a new one. I'll be online to answer any questions. Yeah, I'm a little bit silly. We'll get past that. Just, just be, be me. But what I'd love to see is that we get involved, we have a smile, we work out a bit of sweat. And we feel better about ourselves that we're getting some stuff done. So, let's go through, through a little bit of cool down. It's really simple. I like the whole loosening the hips up. We did a lot of different marching movements, hitting on the floor. So just loosen what we call our glute muscle groups, our quad hip flexor, but just opening up and closing the pelvis. It's called internal external um, rotation. We don't need to think about it like that, but what we do want to know is that we are creating a little bit of movement in that hip to help it feel better. Another variation of this is you can do it standing and you can rotate your hips around. Good, doesn't matter which way you rotate, just get it all moving. 
Very simple. This would be a little bit more of an advanced. This would be a nice simple one. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Cross legs up, just like we did part of our warm up. Let's get into a good glute stretch. Remember, I moved around a little bit, found those tight points. Good, I know it looks a little bit silly, but this is actually how you want to stretch your bum up. It's a good way of stretching your bum. All right, let's find those tight points. Good, you might just swing your one leg back a little bit too. One, switch it over side to cross it off. Get it over the top, give it a good stretch. So I'm going through this glute again. Hopefully everyone's enjoyed this. Please don't be afraid to offer some feedback. You like it, you don't like it, my top's too bright, I talk too much, it's all okay. I'm a big boy, I can take it. Good. Three, two, one. But I guess we'd really love to have a good healthy discussion where the people want to post up some different stuff with food and nutrition. I think that's excellent. Um, I hope no one's gone through any toilet paper shortages anymore. Let's hope that's all blown over. We can joke about it, but um, Amy's, uh, my wife's birthday was over yesterday. Um, and uh, her grandparents had, uh, through her parents, had dropped off a gift when her parents went down to see her grandparents and did a bit of shopping. They had given a gift that they wanted to give to my wife, Amy. So when her parents came past the house to drop off the wedding cake and, and that type of stuff, they dropped the present off with some toilet paper and tissues inside of it, right? That became part of the actual gift giving process. So we've had a bit of a laugh with her. We've, uh, we've written on that particular toilet roll that this was from Grandma and Tim, that's Amy's grandparents, um, you know, and to not be used. So <laughs> we're going to keep this for as long as we can. It's going to be absolute sheer emergency. It'd have to be a real shit place to use it, right? Yes, I did it. I did. I had to make the pun. Couldn't help myself. So, after that glute stretch there, just getting some good shoulder rotations. Really allow those shoulders to rotate around. Uh, we need to have a laugh. It's important. <laughs> good. Get it all rotated around. Three. Two. One. Good. And just let the arms flop around there. I like doing a bit of circle rotation. So this is a bit of a circle rotation. Yeah, they both, they both feel nice. We can let them sort of flop forward and backwards. Just getting everything to just loosen up there. I like some simple wrist rotations. Just depends if we've done a lot of grouping movements today, not a whole lot of them, but there is nothing wrong with trying to stretch a forearm extensors and flexors. They can get a little bit tight through day-to-day -day stuff there, so give them that a really good stretch. Let's jump up, let's give those excellent stretch up. So tuck in the legs nice and close, squeeze your bum, pull up and away. And again, um, like I'm here to help everyone out through this physical activity, sort of um, pull where we may be missing a little bit of social interactions. So I'll try to get on Facebook periodically, so if people have any questions, they're welcome to ask it. Um, obviously I'm signing on as myself, so um, you're welcome to even fire off a question to me. You can send me a private uh, message, I don't mind, I'm here to help. Um, and you know, ultimately at the end of the day, I think if we are all connected, we all sort of communicate to each other, we're not going to feel so isolated in this time when we can feel a bit separate. I think we can still connect ourselves together and technology has come such a long way, which is wonderful, to feel a bit more connected. So uh, yeah, let's, let's use it, let's use it. It can definitely be used for the wrong thing, but I feel like technology now, um, yeah, we're lucky. So we're, we're, um, yeah, look, we're a little lucky with all the cool stuff that we've got going on. Switch over, through FaceTime, through all the other different interesting platforms that you could use to be able to view people. And obviously with what I'm doing right now that we have technology on our iPhones that are good enough to be able to do this. I can upload it and you guys can see this and I can be anywhere in the world and be able to do this and help you out. And, and you guys could be anywhere in return and be able to watch this. So that's really cool. So we want to embrace with what's going on. So give these quads a really good stretch. Good, we've got two more things, car stretch. Grab that leg, we get a part of our warm up. Lean forward, give those cars a really good stretch up there. And hopefully yourselves, your family members, everyone staying safe. Um, I feel like online shopping is such an excellent thing right now, whether that is you know buying your groceries online or uh, just buying some gifts. <laughs> I know uh, for Amy there for her birthday there, we want to jump online and buy yourself a new top. Super simple, right? Punch in a few things, find out which one she likes, what size, click, perfect, been delivered in a couple of days. So yeah, embracing and enjoying that sort of advancement in technology, car stretch to be able to help us get through these little rough times. Good, nice, even a good stretch. And again, we'll just talk a few things. Um, I might even organize it in a little video, at least a bit of a handout. Just some stuff that you could 
um, bring to the train session. So obviously water bottles are a really good one, they're appropriate footwear. Good tabletop stretch is the next one. Um, even something like a towel. Um, if you feel like you're getting a little bit sweaty and you just want to damp up a bit of sweat off your face, whatever feels comfortable for you to be able to have. Um, some people might have sort of desk chairs, um, so like swivel desk chairs to be exercised off. I'd probably more suggest a standard sort of chair that I've got here. Um, just a little bit more sturdy, you don't want something that can roll around on you or, or move on rollers. So that's something that sits a little bit more. Um, all these types of things there and sort of noticing when you're working hard and your heart rate will come up a little bit. That's very normal if you feel very lightheaded, most definitely stops. All these types of things are really important. Um, yeah, I may have got a little bit of a sheet there that you can just have a bit of a read over beforehand. I think that'd be excellent. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed this. Again, I'm here to help you. So if you have any questions, fire them off. I will be online when you guys are watching this for the first time. Okay, peace out everyone. Have a good one.